Hello? Hey, is this Terry? It's Gary. Oh, Gary. Oh, I got you, Terry. Did you used to have a... This is Ricky Crew at the XP Realty here in Gulf Shores. Did you have a property on Windmill Ridge Road down here? I forgot to. Uh... Gotcha. All right, cool, man. It's 213. It looked like you were trying to sell it back a couple years ago. What? What's the story? What What happened with that? Well, we just put it off market. You know, we didn't sell it, so we just put it off. I'm renting them out. And I'm renting it. I got you. That's, um, you can only do long term there, right? On that road? Yeah. Gotcha, man. Well, cool. Well, um, yeah, I was just calling to see what the story was on them. Um, I've been down here selling for 20 years and I just, you know, I've sold, I actually can't remember about that one. I can't place that one, but I sold several. Is that a duplex? Yes. Yeah. I sold, there's a couple of them right there and I sold. I don't remember if yours was one I sold or not, if I represented the. Oh, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I sold I sold a couple of them down there like 2012, 13, stuff like that. All right. Well, what you got? You you think you might ever let them go? I don't know. I might. I mean, you ain't going to find out. No, we got 4,600 square foot in them buildings. Yeah. Oh, I know. They're big. Oh, yeah. I, no, I sold some that were smaller down, a little bit further down the road yeah, than yours. Know. Gotcha. Yeah, they were smaller. They were like fourteen hundred or so per side. You uh, you got an agent down here? You normally work with? Well, I've talked to several in the past, but uh, I work there with Ace Realty right now. But they don't think I ain't having my rental property. Gotcha, man. Well, like I said, I've been down here a while. I've sold some properties there on the road. I tell you what, um, I'll just stay in touch with you, and if something What's ever, work? what's up? Ooh, man, I'd have to, what, what is it granite? Is it upgraded? Is it, what, it, what's it look like on the inside? Well, they, they, they are this granite tops. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, I know the guy down the road who has a smaller, smaller unit. Uh, we almost put it on the market a couple months ago and uh, he was wanting 500 per side. He's got the whole building. Do you have the whole building or just one? Okay. Yeah. This guy owns the whole building down the right on the same road, a little further down. And he was going to put both on for 500 aside. He, he decided not to move forward with it, but I think he's, if I think that one's more like 16 to 1700, but it's a lot, a lot smaller than yours. But I, I, I figured those were worth honestly four, four fifty. Um, he was wanting to go. Yeah, realistically, he was gonna go go higher than well, what they but, should be. Uh, what you said is they gonna range from about well, you said four to four fifty, what sixteen, seventeen hundred feet. Yep. Right yep. Well, mine will be bumping over five or better uh, for twenty three hundred per side. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you we got interest from in under the bottom too. Mm hmm. We got them side. You have to look at them sometime. Let's see. That's two. I just can't place it. That's 213. 133, 213. Two yeah. All right. Right past the house on the left. Yeah. The blue yeah. 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 I think one of my buddies lived there for a little bit, long time ago in that one. If it's the one I'm thinking about. What's but his name? Devin? Yeah. Yeah. Parker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I uh, I grew up with him, so I've known him for a while. All right. Well, look. Uh, I tell you what. What's your email? Uh, it's all little letters. Mm -hmm. Gary dot P dot Devaney. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. I'll send you all my info. 
and then I'll stay in touch with you there. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look closer at it next time I drive down through there, just so I'm. I got mm. sawed all the way around them, and I got here guys uh, around there too. Got gotcha, you, man. So, is the plan to rent them out for a while, ride the market out, and sell them well, at some I, point? I've, I've had them rented out. Well, I mean, is the plan to continue that and then sell them one day, or what's the plan with them? Well, if if uh, if uh, yeah, that's you probably hit the nail on the head. I'm gonna keep them rented if I can, and then if I get a good enough price, I might sell them. Yeah. All right. Yes. I tell you what, where where you you are in? Where are you located? What town? Yeah, where you? Where's your town at? Where you live? Uh, Russell, Alabama. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got it, man. Well, I got you. I got your number. Got your email. Um, I tell you what, I'll do. I'm gonna kind of. Okay. All right. You gonna build on it one day? Well, I thought it would. Yeah. That'd be a good deal to build on it. I mean, you I mean, <laughs> you got some you got you got some new construction that's kind of custom right there on that lot. That's gonna be worth yeah. something. That's gonna be worth something. Why do you mean custom? Well, I mean it's unique because there ain't no more lots right there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there, it's just very limited, though. And then you just, you're just a, you know, a hop skip. You can walk to the well, beach. It's the same lot size as I got my bed. I think it's seventy five by one sixty. Yeah. That same size as my other one size. The duplexes is on. Right. Right. Can you build a they duplex on do that? Uh, do what now? Can you build a duplex on that lot? Yeah, it's the mm -hmm. same size as what I got. That's the same size lots that I. Uh, on them other two that I bought. Yeah. On one thirty-three and, and uh, two thirteen. What's the hold up on building another duplex and getting them rented out? Well, uh, oh, another one. Uh, yeah. Is, uh, if you let me have the money, I'll build one. I got you. I got. I got <laughs> well, you. I just, I just got it back and off right now to the market. Uh, you know, see what it's gonna do. Yeah. Uh, the last few, few years and it's, you know things like that. I and. Not anything on it right now. Mm -hmm. Cool. I tell you what, man, I'm going to um, work up what I think that your existing one there is worth and just get back with you and let you know just for food well, for right thought. Now they got uh, appliances in there, uh, you know, stove, refrigerator, dishwasher, stuff, and top in the kitchen. Yeah. I got tile floors. I got the, uh, we got this put new flooring in here about a year ago, and, and then upstairs we had carpet. Okay. I put all that carpet up. I put the what's that was laminated. Yeah, yeah, the LP. Forward. Yeah, LVP. I put all that in upstairs and in the bedrooms, and of course, uh, up the stairwells has got the carpet on it. Cause, uh, but anyway, I'll just I'll just price them out like they're in good shape, and let you know just so you got a number in mind what you think. Well, that'll work. And then just I. Let me know. Yes, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Uh -huh. Bye bye. bye. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I'm two dials in. Let's see what happened. What happened? What happened? Let's see. I called. That was my second dial. That was my second dial, and that. Ooh, that. I'm gonna guess that that is a one point two. That's a 1.2, 1.1 million dollar property, and he owns a lot. You can walk to the beach, right? You can't rent those out short term, though. All right. This is an old expired. This is an old expired. 2018, that one expired. January. It actually expired at the end of 17. It didn't show up till I think January 1st or something. All right. I'm going to call this one right here. 
Just a little house in Foley. Nay, none serious. Back in the day, in 2018, they were asking 189. Let's see what they got. Hi, this is Patsy. Please Cell phone. Hey, Patsy, this is Ricky Carruth, EXP Realty here in Foley. I was calling about your house on Venice Boulevard. Um, I know it looked like you were trying to sell it a couple years ago. I don't know what happened with that. But anyway, give me a ring back. 251-752-1138. Have a good day. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's see. Do 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 bam. All right, guys. I'm calling Red X uh, expireds. I just went back to 2018 on the expireds. Go to redxdiscount.com. I put the link in the pinned it in the uh, YouTube description. If you need to just click on something. Uh, yeah. L listen, Richard. Let 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 me just let me just throw this one out there for you. Um. Uh, let's see. What is it? You need to rethink your your strategy with calling older expireds. It, it, it's what I tell you guys over and over and over again that a lead is a human being in the market, right? Stop classifying leads as this one's good, this one's bad, these type of leads, that type of leads, online, Red X, open house, door knocking. It's all the same people. <laughs> Get out there and, and, and talk to people. Quit. I would say quit not talking to people because of this or that. Go talk to everyone. All right. Off soapbox on phone. Let's get it. Where's my next one at? Let's see what we got here. Okay. Here we go. Here's a nice little condo. Let's see which condo it is. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Okay. Little fish camp. Oh, okay. Let's get it. Call number three. Already picked up a million dollar client. Already picked up a million dollar client. Literally like two calls. And I talked to him for like what? 15 minutes. Is this Miss is Miss Maltese? Miss Maltese? Sorry, what? Is this Miss Maltese? No, Dr. Maltese's phone. He's operating. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to get out of there, guys. I had to get out of there. <laughs> God, that one scared me half to death. That was a young lady who was like, yes, like sounded like she was jogging. And she was like, she was like, uh, she was like, yes, this is Dr. Marti Mal Maltese's phone. He is in surgery. <laughs> I was like, all right, let me, I got to go. I don't want to like distract surgery. That was too much. That was a, that was a dang old doctor's cell phone. Like I called a doctor in surgery. <laughs> like, that's nuts. Okay. That's crazy. Red X, you 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 crazy for that one. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, let's see. Who is this? Uh, let's see what we got. I don't know who I'm calling. There's two names right here, but I dang sure want to call on this property. Uh, let's see. Oh, nah, I'm gonna skip that. Well, no, let me call that one. Let's see. Let's get it.
That wasn't no gatekeeper. Hello. Hey, Mr. Smith. No, this is Mr. Keith. Mr. Keith, I'm sorry about that. I I got a couple different. Yeah, this is Ricky Caruth with the EXP Realty here in Orange Beach. Do you got this house on or this lot on Pine Road? Does that ring a bell? Uh, I used to have one at the corner of Pine and uh, Worcester Boulevard. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, but uh, I, I sold it. Okay. Quite a while ago. Are you still in uh, Orange Beach? Yeah, yeah, I'm living up here in Indiana. You know, during the summer, but I'm there in. Uh, uh, you know, in the winter, I got gotcha. you. In the fall, mm-hmm. cool, man. Yeah. Well, I grew up, yeah. I grew up down here, Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, and all that good stuff. I've been selling for twenty years. You, uh, you wouldn't happen to be looking to buy or sell something down here, would you? Uh, well, I've got a place at Roma Lake. Okay. But uh, what's your name? Ricky Caruth. Ricky. Yeah. Yeah, Caruth. yeah, I've seen your name on the. You, you sell for. Uh, you sell for a, uh, are you selling independent now? I'm with the EXP. I was with Remax for 10 years. Remax, you were yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you were with Remax. Yeah, yeah, I was there for yeah. 10 years. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, my, my mom lived in uh, Romar Lakes for a little while. And then, um, of course, I sold maybe, I don't know, five or six of those units over the years. So, yeah. pretty familiar. Well, And uh, of course, she's passed away. But uh, I've been down there. I've been in Romar since uh, uh, 2001. Oh wow! That was the year. That was the year right when I got in real. That was right when I got in real estate. So you, yeah, yeah. You probably know Brian Pugh too. Don't yep. You? Yep. Yeah. Great guy. But, uh, yeah, he's. I still still hanging in. He he. Oh yeah, he's still he's still going, isn't he? You say Brian's still hanging in there? I think I think he's still he's still selling real estate, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. As far as I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But uh, good guy. Uh, yeah. No, I've got, I tell you what, uh, I've I've got a realtor that I deal with, and she's done about six transactions for me. Uh, Laura Plash, you know Laura? Yeah. Yeah. She she was. <laughs> The, the rabbit hole keeps going, man. She was actually my, she wasn't my homeroom teacher in middle school, but she was one of my teachers in middle school. She was one of your teachers. Yeah. When she quit, uh, when she quit, I bought the, I bought in Romar Lakes, but right after she quit teaching and went to selling real estate, you know, she retired what she did. Yeah. Yeah. I just I, talked to her today. I, she's a, she's a good friend. I mean, Lori has never you know, uh, turned me, she, you know, she's, she knows what's going on, you know, and she's really a good person. She you know? is, man. I graduated yeah. with Sarah, her daughter. Oh yeah. Her daughter. Yeah. yeah. And then John. John. Yeah. 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 But, that uh, super good people. Yes. Yeah. I have, uh, but I'm, I think I'm, I'm about ready to sell, you know, I'm, I haven't made permanent yet, but, uh, I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking about, so I've got a three bedroom there in Romar. Yeah. Why, why would you sell it? Uh, I'm, 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 well, I'm getting up there in years, you know, plus, yeah. you know, it, it's, uh, you know, not that I, it's really a strain on me. It's paid for and everything, but it's mm-hmm. just, you know, uh, still costs money, still costs insurance and yeah, condo fees you know, and maintenance. We just, got our, we just got our insurance assessment and it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, uh, it, it was less. Mm-hmm. So uh, that, that's good. You know, we, and we're, you know, we're paying a lot for insurance now anyway. So, right. But, uh, you know, it always beats it like it used to be either. It's, it's, you know, pretty, it's hustle bustle, you know, and it's, it, you know, it's, it's growing, you know, that's one thing good about it. It changed a lot from 2000, uh, 2001. <laughs> well, my mom, my mom moved there in 93 and they lived in Robertsdale. Mm-hmm. They were property in Robertsdale in, in, in 1972. Yeah. From Cooper Realty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were out there on Price Grubbs Road. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, dad passed away. And then she moved to Orange Beach. <laughs> And then she passed away. And she passed away right after I bought, right after I bought that condo. I was, 
hoping to spend some time with her and she passed away. Oh, uh, yeah, I hate to hear that. But she, was, she had the house on Morston Boulevard and First Street. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's, a, that's I don't know what that would sell for today, but she bought that house in uh, 93 for $80,000. Is First Street the one closest to the water or closest to Canal Road? Okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it kind of veers off. Yeah. Yeah. First Street's right there. And, well, it's yeah, it's 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 the first road, and then the intercoastals, you know, right there. You know, you you go on past First Street, and you make that stop sign, and you just turn around and you know come back out. Yeah. 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 But uh, and then that's where I had the lot. I had the lot at Pine and uh, and Morrison Boulevard. Got you. Yeah. That was that was a that was a nice little location. It's a good location, you know, and it's high and dry. You know? Yeah, exactly. The thing about it. yeah, it's, it's elevated. Yeah, it's elevated, but uh, and it's kind of quiet. You can see well, was, I went I went down there to see mom's house. Well, I was just left about two weeks ago. I went down to see mom's house, and uh, uh, I missed I missed Warston Boulevard. Because there used to be the woods right there, mm. <laughs> and they got all them houses, and it all cleared off. And I, I said, "What happened?" I said, "Did I miss it?" She said, "Yeah, you missed it because I wasn't looking. For, you know, I didn't think it was there. You know, when that was it, that you know, they're putting those houses in there now." Oh yeah, then they they are that that little spot right there. Um, that's a nice look. The way those trees are and all the shade in there and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, was a cool a, spot. Was a good, that was a nice lot, but I sold that lot back in, oh, 2014 or something. You know, mm -hmm. I bought that. I had, I had that lot for 10 years. You wish you would have kept it? Uh, well, I probably wouldn't have. I didn't make it. I didn't make it a whole lot of money. I didn't make any money off of it, to tell you the truth. Yeah. You know, and yeah, if I'd have kept it down, it would have. Dude, it's worth, it's worth triple what it was in 14. Yeah. 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 yeah so, sold that for about sixty thousand dollars yeah right so but uh, i paid more than that for it in 2004. yeah four was the peak yeah, yeah. yeah everything <laughs> was peaking out but but uh yeah and you know but you know i you know like i said i've been there you know i've i've been through it all you know i've been through ivan and Sally and you know all the hurricanes. And it, you know it's it's all right. We I go down and I fish, do a lot of fishing on the beach. And I know a lot of people there. You know. Yeah. So, but uh, and I know a lot of people in in uh, you know in Orange Beach because well we we I opened Wenzel's and closed Wenzel's and I got to know a lot of people who went through Wenzel's. You know. So you uh, you mean you just, you were here when it opened and you went there and hung out and all that stuff and then. Times a week yeah there. yeah, yeah was, uh, you know what i loved I was uh the old base, the old base high? yeah yeah i mean uh, i was a bayside fan too oh yeah so, now bayside yeah. turned into was that finn and fork right there well, that was ships harbor Grill. ships harbor yeah ship that then, then, okay ships harbor Ryan. yeah ship yeah. well ships harbor burned and then the he owner to, he went up there to where wenzel's was and he called it Finn and Fork. Finn and Fork, yeah. Yeah, now that, now that was the best place down here. Did you eat there? Yeah, but I tell you what I didn't like. I didn't like the way they treated their help. The and service? But Matthew and Virginia were hard to work for. Oh, I'm sure. I didn't get in. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there were some. I'll tell you where it was good. It was good where it was ships, Harbor Grill. I love ships. Ships was my favorite place. It was, a, you know, and I took people there, and I didn't know anything about what went on, you know. But uh, uh, they, it was, uh, you know, uh, it was super. I, I can't, you know, I it took everybody. And that group, a group of poncha train was, you know, that was the meal. A <laughs> yeah, group of poncha train, that'll make your mouth water. Yes, but. Uh, but he went over there, and I did. I did uh, frequent there a little bit, but 
I, they got a lot of bad reports on, you know, people in Orange Beach didn't want to work for them. They were just hard to work for. I'm sure they were. I'm sure they were. I but guess he does. He does all right in Pensacola. Yeah, they moved to Pensacola. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like Wolf Bay, too. We, Ooh, we, Wolf Bay. Uh, oh, you, you you know where you need to go when you come back? Zeke's. Zeke's. Zeke's, all right. And that just opened up. They just, they they remodeled the whole place and reopened okay. it with a new menu and everything. Oh, my gosh. That is, that's the place to go to. I heard that. I heard that. I didn't make it there yet, but I, I heard that. Me and my mom were going there for lunch, and there was no wait. I remember when my mom and dad were down here when they first came in. When Wolf Bay was on the bay, you know, and they came yeah. down from Robertsville, Robertsville the back way. They were uh, they were in Alberta, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it was it was at Millolian, I think, right? It was on the bay. Yeah, Mifflin, know? Alberta area. Yeah. Yes, they were there. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's that's. I think they're they're. That was like 50 years ago. Close to it. Let's see. That place, I think it burnt down. And I think yes, that was a... Gone. I yeah. think, yeah. And so they're right there by... Um, like they, the, they were in the Zeke's restaurant, though. They, they were. They yeah. they moved. Yeah. Now they're at where Wenzel's was. Yeah, and, they're, 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 and they've done... They're good neighbors. They're good neighbors with us. They're yeah. Gone. Yeah. They're, yeah. There's nothing wrong. But that... uh, When I, when I want a good piece of fish... I'll go yeah. to the Wolf Bay and Foley there on 20. Uh, I've been there. Yeah. Uh, and it was highly, highly, it was really good. Yeah. Uh, it was good. Yeah, I, I can't say anything bad about that. Mm -mm. Yeah. Only place you can get a real, like, that, and I'm telling you, if you go to the Zeke's, get the Cobia. They got a, co they got a Cobia plate with some, like, uh, jambalaya type rice. And they put some kind of little salt. Um, it, it's really, I get that every time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Try that. Hey, I'll tell you what, man. Um, what's your, what's your email address? I'll shoot you my info. And if you, you know, if something happens or you need me, I'm happy to. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right. Cool. <laughs> uh huh. I'm here in Bloomington, Indiana. Right. And uh, it's, it's my advantage to. And my kids are up there. My boy was in Selma for. Oh, he probably there for ten years. And I had grandkids were born there, and then they moved. They moved up here, and uh, you know my other son's here, so. Uh, you know, that's one reason we kind of, we, we do it back and forth, but it works out. I just don't do it. I'm not, you know, I'm not a snowbird. I'm a snow resident. You know? I got you, man. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, New term. Yes. But uh, it's good to talk to you, Ricky. Yeah, yeah absolutely, good. man. Yeah, I'll enjoy. Keep your mind, okay? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> what you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments. I got to change my uh, memory card here. Hold on one second. I don't have to change my memory card. All right. Cool. Let's see what you guys are talking about. All right. Let's, I'm just checking out some comments before I hop on another. Got, I mean, I had to ride that one out for a second. <clears throat> um. Do, do, do. I'm going to send him a nice little email with comps and everything. Do, do, do. Yeah. You guys let me know if you have any questions in the comments uh, or, or anything, any feedback or anything. All right. So I'm, uh, let's see, I've had three conversations, I think. I want to say, no, no, four, because I had the nurse, 
I had, what was it? Can't remember the first one, but it was like, I don't forget what happened. But then I had the guy with the duplex. The guy with the duplex and an extra lot, he's going to build on it one day. Now, I'm going to jump on that. I'm going to jump on that. I'm going to send him comps. All right, so I got him and I got this guy. Okay. Man, listen, if if I were still building my business, what you think I'd be doing all day? This right here, talking to people, collecting data, following up, sending comps, sending properties, showing properties, talking to people, writing down information, sending emails, weekly emails, personalized emails. Thank you for your time on your on the phone today. Ah, it's so simple, guys. It is so simple. So if he already has an agent, we still put him on your list of emails. Why wouldn't I? Why would I not? All right, let's get back, man. Let's <laughs> let's get back on the phone. You know that this is okay. This is what's interesting. These are 2018 uh, expireds. That was a wrong number, guys. A wrong number. That's what that was. He ended up owning a condo somewhere else in Orange Beach. And here I come. Let's see what we got here. Call people, talk to them, listen to them, see what you can do to help them, see what it is they want to do and why. Super simple stuff, guys. Please leave your message for. Sorry, this is Please leave your name and what Yeah, I know this little condo right here. Oh, yeah, I know this little condo complex. Let's see. Oh, this is a good question. If I were a first time agent, would I go solo, partner up, or go with or go with a team? I definitely wouldn't go with a team, right? Because the thing is, is like your goal is to learn what you can and leave the team, in which case the team leader is going to make you feel bad for leaving the team and keep all your leads. They're going to keep all the leads that you worked hard to build the whole time. So if you can find a team that's going to let you take your leads with you, um, I don't know. I mean, I did it. I did it. I was solo from day one. All right. Let's see here what we got. Ooh, let's see. what What is this? What we got here? Oh, I think I know where this one is. Let's see if it's where I think it is. Okay. Oh, snappy doodle, snappy do. Yes, sir. Okay. This is an old house and a great spot. Uh, let's see. They were asking 175 for it back in 2018, 17, 18. And I tell you what, I'd love to buy it. <laughs> I'd love to buy this one. Let's see what this story is. I ain't going to stop at the first number. Let me get another one. Beep. 
Mm. I ain't going to stop with that one. Let's see here. All right. Let's see. Number number three. Because I want this one. Sounds like a law office. All right, that was that was all the numbers. Let's see. But you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I got his email. Red X gives you emails. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna email him. I'm gonna email him right quick. Uh uh, 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 uh. Right. It's because I just want to know about this house. what I'm writing here as soon as I get done. Put his email. I put the address and the subject. I said, hey, hey, person's name. Ricky Carruth here, local real estate agent in Gulf Shores. I see you were trying to sell this house a few years ago. What's the story? Is it still for sale? I am interested. Bam. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. right. All right. Okay. Let's get back here. Right, let's see here. Do 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 what in the world is this? Here we go. Here's a night here's a nice looking one. This was See which subdivision that is. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Hey, Miss Lee. Yes. Hey, Miss Lee. It's Ricky Carruth, EXP Realty here in Foley. How you doing today? Hold on. Who again? Ricky Carruth. I'm with EXP Realty here. Oh, in, hi. Okay. Here in hi. Foley. Yes, ma'am. Didn't mean to bother you. I uh, saw that house that I couldn't even pronounce the name of the road there. It's a uh, Char Charlius. Char Charlie. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Do you, yeah. I saw you were trying to sell that a couple years ago. Did you sell it, or what's the story on that? Uh, you know what? We remodeled it and moved in. We live here now. <laughs> uh, okay. Did you, you were, what'd you do? You, it was like a rental property or something for a while? Yeah, it was a rental. Got you. Got you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I did. I saw it and I've been selling for 20 years around here. I just ran across that and I thought, man, I wonder what happened with that, that place. Yeah. 
Got oh, you. If you ever drive by, it looks different from what it used to. <laughs> if what now? If you ever drive by, it looks a lot different. Oh, yeah, because I was looking at pictures, and I was like, okay. But uh, it looks like there was some red clay in the front yard and stuff during the time of this picture. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, that's what we were bringing in some uh, fill dirt. So it's, it's red. Yeah. Gotcha, Earth, gotcha. We still have a whole bunch of earth work around the house to do now. So, yeah. Where'd you okay. get, where'd you guys move from? Well, the, the thing is our son lives just two doors over. Oh, it's a family we thing. Have, right. And we have, um, two years ago, we got, or two and a half years ago, we had a new addition to the family. So we have a grandson oh. and uh, that had something to do with the decision. So congratulations. Yeah, so we decided to come here. We were in California for about 12 years, and um, before that, and, uh, anyway, we've been all over. Alabama's a little bit, a little bit less stressful. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, just, then, I just went over to Hollywood a couple of weeks ago for some business. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was pretty wild. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, at some point down the road, you know, five, 10 years or whatever, do you guys have an agent that you normally work with? If you were to, uh, do you know, Eric Whitlow? Yes. Well, he's who, he's our guy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, Eric's a good, he's, he's great. Yeah. We've been working with Eric on some other properties ever since, or even before we actually moved here. So. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now he's he's been around for quite a while too. He, I don't think he's been doing as long as I have, but he's definitely been in there for a while. Yeah, he's, he's our guy. Yeah, he's our go-to guy. So cool. Uh, now we're just gonna kind of plateau where we're at. Settle in, and see what happens, enjoy the grandbaby, and yeah, that's what's going on. Live now. life. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, tell Eric Ricky Carew said hello. Okay, and um, yes, ma'am. And hey, if you ever need anything, it's my number. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Have Thank a good you. day. Bye-bye. All right. God. I'm telling you what, man. Like, mm, you just feel like a million dollars when you make calls because you're like, I'm doing it. Like, I, there, I had an agent. He went, he wouldn't do anything. And, uh, you know, after like eight months of him, like using the paper cutter to cut business cards and like work on his website and stuff, I was like, dude, sit in that chair right there and call all these for sale by owners. It was on Zillow or something. And he said, after that, after that call session, he was like, dude, this is the first day I feel like I'm an actual real estate agent. But anyway, all right. I tell you what. Uh, I know it's five oh two. Let me. I'm gonna put a bit of link here, and I got time for one one person. If somebody wants to come on the live and ask a question, I just put that in the in the chat. Um. I'm just looking through. Com Let me know if you have any co any questions in the comments in the chat. So I made calls. Uh, not even an hour. It was like 45 minutes. I picked up two. I would say one really, really, really good lead. Now, just think about if I did that for three hours a day, like I tell you guys to do, even three days a week, number one, I'd pick up more than one an hour. I'd have days where I picked up one an hour. I'd have days where I picked up two or three an hour. Best time of day to call is whenever you pick that phone up and dial. <laughs> whenever you decide you want to call.
Okay. I tell you what, I can do another call. Let's see. Let's get one more call in here and see what happens. I got one more in me. Let me know in the comments there if you want me to do one more call. Don't threaten me with a good time. Let's see. Yeah, so a lot of these are, um, you know, mobile, an hour away, stuff like that. And really segregate it out. So I'm just picking stuff in Gulf Shores, Orange Beach. What is this? Okay. Okay. Little RV lot. I don't see why not. This name rings a bell too. Let's see if this lady knows me. Because her name sounds awfully familiar. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call can be ah, Okay. Let's see here. Send her a hand dialing. Just think what would happen if you were using the dialer. Mm. I got one more shot. Miss Eccles. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. All right. That one was a no go. Let's see what. It, oh, what we got here. What you got in that bag? What do we have here? Oh, <laughs> another little fish camp. Another little fish camp. This is this is the same place that the doctor. It was a doctor. Woohoo, Mrs. Jones. Telephone number three, three, four, three, five, six. Get out of there, bro. Get out of there, bro. Abort, abort. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Come on, Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Mrs. Jones. All right. I can't come to the phone right now. Jeez. Thank you. Hey, Miss Jones, Ricky Carruth, EXP Realty here in Orange Beach. Um, give me a ring back about Fish Camp. 251-752-1138. Have a great day. Let's get it, guys. All right. Hey, I hope this inspired you to go out there and make your calls every single day. If you got to miss calls to go out and, uh, you know, show property and write listings and listing appointments and make offers and negotiate deals, that's okay. Miss your calls to make, to make deals happen. Don't skip your calls over doing admin work or making social media or scrolling on social media. That's where you're going to get into a lot of trouble. All right. Push all that stuff off to the afternoon and get your calls out of the way. Build your business, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and also let's let's get let's get some comments going here. What is better? Let me just put put it like that. What is better than what I'm doing? I'd like to know your your thoughts. What is better than calling property owners that own the exact properties you want to sell for a penny? Um. 
creating those conversations, getting to know people, building your name, building your database, building your email list, and ultimately closing deals. Um, you know, because the way I see it, you know, you make videos for social media, you're waiting on people to call you, you do Zillow leads, you're waiting on leads to come in to call them, do open houses, you're waiting on people to sign the things so you can call them. Everything comes back to calls. So, um, I'm just wondering, like, if there is something better than making calls or like, I'm sorry, everything is making calls, but is there something better? Like the way that I get leads expired, circle prospecting, picking out the exact owners you want to do business with, building relationships, figuring out what they want to do now and later, all that good stuff. What is better? Because I'm 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 looking for something that's better. Uh, I've tried multiple things and I've gotten more results in two months than I did with other methods. I'm guessing you're talking about making calls. You've had better results. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, okay, there's 200 people watching live. Um, nobody's telling me any, like you, you guys can't come up with something. Let's see. One day Ricky's going to find a long loss relative. Okay. Yeah. Like door knocking though. But the thing is with door knocking is, is I can do the same thing and just talk to property owners, not even leaving my house, stay in the air condition, stay in the same seat. Yeah. YouTube is great. You should do YouTube. You should do YouTube um, from like one to five every day. But is YouTube going to produce enough phone numbers to make calls for three hours, nine to 12 every day? Do you do all your social media stuff in the afternoon? What's my follow-up process after um, the initial call that goes? Well, it depends on the situation, Ruth. But um, if it's somebody that's like, I'm never going to sell or I may sell in five years or whatever, just the weekly email. If they're looking to do something soon in the near future, you know, like this month, six months, year, something like that, I wanted to dig deeper into why they're looking to do that and try to figure out a game plan for them. So it's going to be specified to them. But as far as my entire database, I'm not going to do anything but the weekly email because it's scalable. If I'm going to do a once a every month or quarter call, I can't scale that. If I have 10,000 people, I can't do that. Not going to happen. So just think of think of um think of uh you know, think of your business and systems you put in your business that are incredibly scalable. That's what you want. Right? You need to ask yourself, okay, if I had 1,000 leads like this, how would I handle them? All right. And is that system efficient? Cool. Hey, enjoyed it. Once again, next week, um, I'll be doing my calls probably on Thursday since I'll be gone Monday and Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday's normally booked with, you know, I go to the office in the morning and all that stuff. So Thursday will probably be my calling day next week. And probably going to go after um, circle prospecting tomorrow or next week but um i'll put a poll i'll put a poll on youtube for you guys to vote who you want me to call next week all right all right love you guys god bless thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys on the next one hit me on instagram if you need anything whatsoever